Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Darman Trading says it's looking to expand its distribution footprint. Head of Darman, Derek Cottrell, says its Delect brand is a strategic part of plans to increase export revenue to 50% of overall inflows. He was speaking at the company's annual general meeting. Some are on the way. Some are, we are finalizing our negotiations to bring them to market um, later this year and early next year. Um, so that's, that's a major thing for us over the next three to four years. We're going to be build, doing a strong brand building to ensure that we can cement um, our distribution company. Um, also, our supermarkets will play a role in leading out the brand, and we're also going to be very strong in, expo in, in, in our charge to earn more foreign exchange and earn more of our income from overseas through the brand and through other acquisitions overseas. The company has also made some progress in other areas of the business. Mr. Cottrell says the select grocer store in Mape and Clarendon will be opened this month. The store was to begin operations in 2021, but was pushed due to various logistics constraints to include difficulty procuring equipment and fixtures due to shipping and supply delays. Now, the build-out of that location was set to cost 500 million Jamaican dollars. On to some other news. Finance ministers of the Commonwealth countries are calling for a holistic review of rules governing the global financial system, especially those skewed against small states. At a meeting this week, the minister said a number of fiscal rules are no longer relevant and do not reflect the extraordinary and peculiar economic conditions of today. They've also called for effective debt management strategies and assistance for states and the promotion of debt transparency. They say these tools will help states maneuver external shocks and disasters in a more prudent manner. And back home, the Kingston Freeport Terminal KFTL has invested over 20 million U.S. dollars in new equipment. KFTL has purchased 19 straddle carriers used to transport containers on the port. Now, the company managed by French shipping firm CMA CGM says the acquisition is to improve efficiency. KFTL says the new equipment is part of its comprehensive investment plan to expand and upgrade services at the terminal. Of the 19 straddle carriers procured, five are hybrid units which will reduce fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. KFTL says the resources are already available to commission the equipment with deployment slated for early November. And to the markets now, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $153.70. $111.06 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $170.82 for the pound, while it's costing an average $151.56 for the euro. The JSC index lost 358 points today, while the junior market index gained 21 points. Among the winners were Paramount Trading Jamaica, Access Financial Services, Stanley Mota, First Rock Real Estate Investments, US Dollar Shares, and Sagicore Select Funds Manufacturing and Distribution, while the decliners were led by Epli Caribbean Property Fund SCC, Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican Dollar Shares, Haley Group, Caribbean Producers, and MFS Capital Partners. And that's it for the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.